time now for Marlene, the plant lady. Hi, Marlene. Hello. Okay, here we go. Let me Hi. minimize all this other stuff here and get to your first question. Okay. Uh, can I save my peace lily? Here's a pick. Yes, I'm wondering if that was transplanted or divided recently. Um, in that case, then it's just going through some major transplant shock. Um, and usually that means the top leaves are gonna die, but wait for new leaves to come. But if you didn't transplant it and it's like this, of course, check the moisture level in the soil. A lot of, uh, when plants wilt, it's either they haven't gotten water or they're overwatered because overwatering, you're basically rotting the roots off, you're blocking the transport system for water and it'll mimic underwatering. And then a lot of times people are like, well, I gotta add more water. So always dig down into the soil. So if it was underwatered for a while, same thing again, you're probably gonna lose those top leaves, but new ones will come out from the base as long as the roots are um, alive down there and not rotted out. <clears throat> All right, next one here is, uh, my Creeping Charlie is getting mm -hmm. eaten alive. What's happening? Yeah, Creeping Charlie is uh, the genus is Plectranthus, and there's a whole bunch of different ones. And they do really well outside for the most part. Some are frost sensitive and then others do okay as house plants. Um, a lot of times they don't get enough light inside so they become very stretched out and leggy. This one looks good except for that's not being eaten. That's a fungal leaf spot. You could tell because the holes are very almost uniform covering the whole entire leaf and you could see where parts are dying, the tissues dying and poking a hole through. And then also the edges have that brown. So this is usually a fungal leaf spot is from overwatering, water getting on the leaves. So just taper it back. These plants are pretty succulent, so they don't need as much water um, as maybe you're giving it. So if you want, you could buy some sulfur spray and sulfur spray it, and that is a good fungicide for leaf spot. Okay, and the final one here is what to do. There's what a lot of plants. Do? Yeah, there's like, a lot of on. plants there. <laughs> and I'm assuming you're talking about the giant bird of paradise. So this looks like the giant bird of paradise that gets up to 20 feet tall versus Whoa. the standard bird of paradise. They get big, they mm -hmm. spread. So all bird of paradise will just start sprouting from the base. Okay. Now it's in an area that it really is constrained right there with the driveway. Now it could grow towards the back. It looks like there's some space, but did you prune this right? Yes, if you want to keep it there, you want to keep it minimized, you have to cut the growth at the base. Sometimes you could do um, sort of narrow it a bit just by removing the leaves, but if you really need to keep it in control, you need to remove any of the plants coming up from the base. So. Will it flower? Not until it gets really big and reaches its full potential. So you may not get flowers on it, but if you just like its foliage, then you're doing a, a good job of controlling it. So those get 20 feet and the other mm -hmm. standard paradise, what, how big do those get? Four feet tall. Oh, I oh, see. Wow, yeah. Okay. I, I, I have them in my front yard. I love them. And when they yeah. bloom, oh. They're so fun. Oh, they're so yeah. fun. Yeah, they're so fun. They could take a while. They need more sun than a lot of people give them. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, are we interrupting you? I, I'm just talking, listening. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene, tell everybody how, <laughs> well, how people can follow you. Uh, Facebook and Instagram, Marlene the Plant Lady. And uh, podcast, Flower Power Garden Hour. Sounds good. Yes. All right, and the topic for the 10 o'clock is preparing for fall. Yes, fall, there's a lot to do in the garden in fall. So I'm gonna go over as many things as time allows. Sounds oh, good. Nice. All right, it is time for a We're Just Curious where you share the, um, your